I'm Jesse Pippinall, and this is the New Year New Mess 2022 special. 2022 shit the bed, just like her. Gas prices have went through the roof. I mean, it takes 50 just to fill my tank, and just like Leo DiCaprio, once it's over 25, I no longer want to keep pumping. Taylor Swift may have had the ob of the year, but nothing slapped harder than a G.I. Jane joke. Chris Rock's joke was so good that it turned Will Smith into a Karen. Look, Will Smith got mad, and the reason why he got mad was because of this cum dumpster. No, 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 this cum dumpster. Jada has been emotionally abusive to Will all their marriage. She's been leeching off his fame, slept with her son's best friend, and then bragged about it on her Facebook talk show. I mean, why is she even famous? I mean, what does Jada even do? I mean, Will Smith releases movies left and right, and what is the last thing Jada ever released? Air follicles? Now, this is not an alopecia joke. This is a joke about Jada having alopecia. I know the joke is offensive, but look, if you're gonna be a piece of shit to a beloved icon that everybody loves, prepare for people to attack the low hanging fruit. You antagonized him, bullied him, slept with his son's best friend, divulged really humiliating sexual details about him on your talk show. How do you expect anybody to like you? Look, look I'm mentally ill, previously uh, suicidal, small dick, fat guy. So if I start saying horrible things about a human being and people come to that person's defense, I should not be surprised that the gloves come off and I get body shamed and told I'm mentally ill. Now let's see what happens when the shoe's on the other foot. If Chris Rock would have made a joke about Will, would Jada go up there and slap him? Let's take it even further. If a Waffle House employee were to say something about Will, would Jada take that person out to the parking lot and slap him? Hell no. All right, that's a Waffle House employee. They don't got anything left to lose. I'm talking about teeth. Closing, Jada is emotionally abusive. And because she's never been on an Oscar winning level, she's mean to Will. I mean, the only time she ever had an Oscar winning performance inside of her is when they were making Jaden. I guess being married to Jada is worse than being Johnny Depp's bed on Taco Tuesday. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard aired their dirty secrets and dirty laundry on live TV. This white trash couple was a Jerry Springer wet dream. I mean, fingertips were cut off, people were shitting the bed, disturbing group chaps were leaked. I mean, TMZ loved every moment of this. I mean, every new update made them stiffer than the Queen and more excited than Jared Leto getting to screw up another comic book character. Honestly, this trial gave them so much attention. I mean, these two haven't appeared in many films lately. I I mean, they work less than the McDonald's ice cream machine. Through numerous memes, TikTok videos, and hours of streaming, Johnny Depp won the case. People of the internet condemned Amber Heard like Kylie Jenner's three-minute flight, the one that everybody kept saying wasn't eco-friendly and such. Honestly, I think the most tragic part about the Kylie Jenner airplane story was that it landed. Biggest surprise was all the support for Johnny Depp. As if collectively everyone was like, fuck it, and fuck her, it's not like she could shit everybody's bed. One thing that I learned about in 2022 is that we love murder docs. I mean, murder, 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 murder sells, but crime is getting very wacky, all right? Get this, a dead woman was found partially in a Santa Clarita donation box. I mean, after all, she was an organ donor. Carjackers interrupt a couple while having sex and leave them naked in the middle of the street. What's even more shocking is that these are my Pornhub keyword searches. They're coming to life. A new VR headset will now kill you if you die in a video game. I mean, since when did this guy start making a video game? And what's the equivalent to VR porn? I mean, it begs the question. I mean, do I really feel my friend's dick during a DP? We have a hunger for crime and murder ducks. I mean, here's some evidence of it while I was on the road. Wow, this show got weird. <laughs> Listen, that was not on my 2022 bingo card, all right? I never thought in a million years somebody in a children's theater would yell, I'm gonna domer him. <laughs> 2022 was the year of many first things. I mean, for example, Apple became the first company to reach a stock market value of $3 trillion. Plus, after 20 years, Apple has discontinued the manufacturing of the iPod, which gives these kids one less thing to do. People want to buy social media platforms. That's a new trend. Elon Musk bought Twitter for $44 billion. And to understand how much money that is, imagine three tickets to see Taylor Swift. He recently said that he would raise the character count from 280 to 4,000, which is a character for every person he fired. Even Kanye wanted to buy Parlor, which I get it, it's so he can have more people to talk to that think like him. 
What is crazy is that he wanted to run for president. And I'll tell you what, it might be possible, you know? He's pulling well both in minority groups and anti-minority groups. Speaking of political powers, the Queen of England died this year. And honestly, who cares? The only queens you should ever care about are these queens right here. Boom and boom. At least they didn't kill Princess Diana. I mean, this queen, she protected predators so well that the Pope gave her props. FTX cryptocurrency CEO Sam Bankman Fry was arrested in the Bahamas and bail was set to anything but fucking crypto. Lawmakers are looking to ban TikTok because no one should have this much power to spy on our citizens, said the NSA. After a crazy year of tech, crypto and billionaires, I'm surprised there's not an app for any everything, like adopting. I think I have an app for that, like where you swipe right if you want the kid and it's like, ugh, left. <laughs> <laughs> 2022 was the year for superhero flicks. I mean, everyone wanted in on it. Even Kim Kardashian has shown interest in the MCU and saying that if the right role comes along, she'll take it. But I mean, what character would she be and what would her superpower be? Staring awkwardly into a camera while getting banged from behind by Ray J? Endgame directors, the Russo brothers, are pulling from TikTok for inspiration for the live action Hercules movie. I mean, what does that mean exactly? Is Meg pushing her OnlyFans page and Hades is basically an incel? Hashtag not my god. If DC has taught us one thing, here it is. If you're a straight to streaming Batgirl movie, you're going to get canceled. If you're a fugitive of the law that has been charged with kidnapping, aggravated assault, and grooming children, well, we just push your movie up so people can see it more. Seriously, Ezra Miller, a.k.a. The Flash, a.k.a. the only crime that they haven't committed yet, seriously perplexes me. I mean, he keeps his job despite grooming more kids than a goat herder. Luckily, DC has been taken over by Gunn and Saffron, who have plans to restore the DC universe. Imagine a more stronger and updated version. The COVID variant. Benefer 2.0. Cold War 2.0. Speaking of Russia, Brittany Griner is finally coming home and she was flying on the private jet with just a few people on there and when asked uh, how did she feel she said well I'm used to being surrounded by this many empty seats but one thing she is sick of is during press conferences she keeps having to tell everybody no this was not a space jam situation meanwhile Russian president Vladimir Putin has confirmed via tweet that no this in fact was a space jam situation Another thing that happened this year is Disney took a stand against China when they requested that they remove the Statue of Liberty from Spider-Man No Way Home and Disney doubled down and said that they would not cut anything from their films unless they were abused by Amber Heard. There has been plenty of weird and hot mess news and we gotta do a quick review. A man has figured out how many cans of SpaghettiOs it would take to write the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy and it's 8,795 cans which is equivalent to 283 children starving daily for one month. The Mario Brothers trailer has dropped and everyone's talking about Mario's ass or lack of one. I mean, what do you expect from a generation that loves to eat ass? Mario is usually carrying around a fat ass. No wonder why I've run out of memory playing Mario games. It's because of this thick, juicy bitch. Who would have thought we lived in a time where people wanted to see a plumber's ass? Kentucky releases a free Narcan vending machine, and thank God it's free. Could you imagine your friends OD and you can't save their lives because you don't got a crisp one trying to flatten it out so they don't die? It's ironic that the free Narcan machine is next to another vending machine that says, share a Coke and a smile. Trust me, all those polar bear commercials, that wasn't snow. I hope you know that. A 49-year-old is now playing college football and is having a blast, but he's showing his age during a hallmark activity of college football when he referred to a roofie as a Mickey. The Little Mermaid film is now facing ridiculous backlash over casting a black actress. The only reason why they're mad that Ariel is black is because it's throwing off their focus while they're trying to climax in their cousin. Before I head out, I want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys have supported my videos and it, it just means everything to me. And I just want to say thank you so much for joining me on this comedy journey. And we got a lot more ground to cover. Uh, next year, we got a comedy special that we're going to be filming. Uh, we got possible movie coming up. I'll let you know. Stay tuned right here. Like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Jesse Pimpinella, and this is The Hot Mess. God bless and thank you so much, everyone. Have a happy New Year's.